And I, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a second half of November uh, general read for you. Uh, no particular subject, we're going to take uh, an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past, immediate future and uh, potential outcome. We'll clarify those and get a message out there. <clears throat> it's not going to clarify, not going to clarify, it's not going to resonate with every Gemini uh, out there. So do check out your Moon, Rising, Venus, any stellium you have in your chart for further messages. Okay, thank you for the like, share, and subscribe. The channel's doing amazingly well, it's all down to you, so thank you. If you haven't done so already, please do. It helps uh, spread the videos far and wide on YouTube and continues the growth. And if you want to reach out for a private reading, check out the description box, all the details are in there. Okay, the death card jumping could be dealing with a Scorpio. Oh, he may be just going for a huge transformation. Right, so. The issue is Eight of Wands, communication, fast communication, passionate communication, emails, texts, fast, fast, fast. Okay, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of. Recent past, immediate future, and outcome. Okay. The Death card again, you're given definitely dealing with a Scorpio. Four of Cups with the Lovers. You're undecided about something. Um, there's an offer coming in and you don't know whether to take it or not. Interesting. So communication coming in, it's coming in with an offer. What you're aware of is the Ten of Cups. You're currently ha happy in your current situation. Um, some of you may have family, um, actual children, you know, in this dynamic. Uh, for others of you, you're just in a, in a very good place at the moment. What you're not aware of is uh, the Queen of Wands. This is... I kind of feel like possibly the person that you're dealing with, um, what they're planning. The recent past is the Page of Wands. So I kind of feel like there's been a bit of an immature behaviour in the past. But this person has gone from the page to the Queen of Wands. I don't think you realise that. They're wanting to um, take things a step further. So the immediate future is the Four of Wands. This is 11-11. It's the sign of um, engagements. It's the sign of moving in together. I think for some of you, this, your person's going to ask to move in together. For some of you, this is somebody proposing. Uh, or, to, you know taking the relationship to the next level, you know, maybe, uh, maybe you know, the Eight of Wands, putting it official on social media, however it is nowadays, I'm uh, uh, joined Facebook at university and it's uh, something I'm doing, doing away from if I'm honest. Um, so, um, yeah, just making it official possibly. However, the potential outcome is the Two of Pentacles, I'm not too, not too sure whether you want to do that because you're quite happy with where your current stasis is with this situation. Um, for some of you that have children, um, and not with this person, but from a separate relationship, are worried about all moving in together because of that dynamic. Um, some of you are worried to put a label on it because of your children. The decision is yours. It's going to be a decision that you get to make. Let's get some uh, clarifiers. I kind of feel like your person has gone through a lot of change. Or maybe you have, you know, with the lovers here. It is your card, Gemini. You know, you've gone through big changes. And maybe looking at your situation now that you're not, you're, you're a bit dissatisfied. Maybe you want to. This Ten of Cups, maybe you want to um, end that, end the family life. You know, if we get a clarifier here of, say, the Ten of Swords over the top of the Four of Wands, maybe you want to end this connection. I'm kind of pointing out both because I'm getting the two of pentacles and the outcome. I'm kind of saying there's two options here. It's two different scenarios. Three more.
nine of swords with the ace of wands and judgment you're worried about making this decision some of you are worried about if you're pregnant or not okay the eight of wands is with the emperor communication is coming in from your divine masculine you know we've got the twin flame energy here with the four of wands uh, but this could be just um, maybe a person's older than you could just indicate somebody that's self-employed uh, or it could just indicate Aries essentially what you're aware of is the ten of cups with the six of swords um, again I kind of feel like they're maybe moving in with a family uh, you know ready-made family um, something that you've asked what you're not aware of is the queen of wands with the nine of pentacles there's a part of you that just wants to remain single just have a carefree life as a single person and, and you know feeling good about yourself recent past is the page of wands with the eight of swords I kind of feel like you've this is somebody that's felt tied down possibly with children or felt like their inner child was in prison and I kind of feel like that's been released now. And I think because of that release, you're now looking at wanting to be um, not necessarily single, but you just want freedom. That's probably the best way to put that. Uh, your immediate future is the Four of Wands with the Hierophant. You know, that is wedding written all over it. We've got the Four of Wands and we've got the Officiator. You know, we've got the wedding card and the priest. Um, for some of you, you're getting married. And for, yeah, and the outcome is two of pentacles with the, with the star. I'm looking at the foot in the water uh, and I'm hearing cold feet. Um, so those that are, you know, in the process of getting, in the throes of getting married, uh, you're having cold feet um, about the situation. I don't think it's necessary to have cold feet. I just think... I think most people at some stage of before marriage get you know some sort of coffee and it doesn't have to be marriage it could just be you know signing a contract for a house together um, but having cold feet about it but at the end of the day the decision's yours you just got to go with your instinct I'm going to take one card for that final outcome <laughs> they've not helped matters one bit judgment it's your decision <laughs> Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deco. So there is happiness here. There's happiness. I think you just got cold feet. Whoever this is. I mean, we're, we're talking potential either moving in together and starting a family together or getting married or something of that dynamic. Um, but I kind of feel like it's... You feel like you're going to lose your freedom. You're going to feel like you're losing your inner child by, by doing this. Um, I suppose in your subconscious is you're still going to have fun. You're still going to be financially independent yourself, so don't don't let the fear of being losing your freedom stop you from moving forward. But at the end of the day, you know you, we all have free will. It's all your discernment. It's your choice. But I kind of feel like um, it could very well be divinely guided. This, so don't uh, don't worry too much. We all get cold feet. Okay. All right, Gemini, you could be dealing with a Taurus, you could be dealing with an Aries, um, Aquarius, Scorpio, definite Scorpio, uh, a fellow Gemini, possibly. But we've got pentacles, we have got wands, we have got swords, and we've got cups. Everybody's here, but those are your standouts. All right, let me know if it resonates. Uh, look after yourselves. Thank you for following the channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye.